go to the police. I know there are risks involved, but I just don't know what else to do. Well, couldn't we just dump this thing in the river? Also a good idea. So listen, did Mom say anything to you about me? Yeah, Joe. She said to tell you that Marlon Brando is your real father, and that if you ever need anything, you should call him. Hey, look, I didn't ask you to walk out of this. No, Joe, you didn't. So why did she? She just felt she had to go. Isn't that, like, completely selfish? You know this song, Joe. Mom feels that if everyone put themselves first, the world would be perfect. Well, I think that's nuts. I hear you. So what do you want me to do? Go talk to her or something? Maybe if you feel like it. I'm one of those, oh, Mom, deep down inside, I love you conversations. You know what, Tony? <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't have to do any of that kind of stuff that I'm not doing. Just a guy in France with a box. Well, I don't. I know. Jeez. They found our luggage. They went to Prague. All the way to Australia, huh? Yeah. They're sending it to Mom's tonight. Well, I don't care. Yeah, you're just a joy to be around, you know that? I can't tell you what a thrill it is to be here with you. Well, will you leave me alone? Oh, I'm going to leave you alone, all right. I'm gonna leave you alone under the Eiffel Tower. Oh, yeah? Well, how are you gonna get me there, buddy? Uh-oh. It's those words again. Oh, you hot, man. You're right. Look who's pulling up. Who? Her. Let's go. Let's go. God.
package, please. It's mine. No. Give it to me or he dies. Okay. All right. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 20. 15. Hurry. It was five. He wins. Whoa. Now, Joey, that package, please. Well, oh, yeah, here. I've been trying to hand this to you for days. You made the right choice. Alberto Salazar, Bolivian Secret Service. Wow. It's quite impressive, yes? This woman is Jacqueline Raspal, the international black market here. Well, who's this guy? This is Bolivia man, believed to be the head of Zuntinka, king of all the Incas, a priceless artifact. So do I. This is very cool. Yes. At first I think you are part of the ring, but I soon realize you are part too stupid. Very true. So you are eligible for the reward, the complimentary trip to Bolivia, and some beautiful steak knives. I love this. We're heroes. Yeah. We're heroes with cutlery. Yes. Trip to Bolivia, huh? Bolivia is where we kill your boots and sandals. Learn something new every day. And where I will go as soon as I finish my mission. There's still stuff missing? Yes. I still have to find his right arm. And he's two feet. It won't work. I mean, I would like it to work, and it would be wonderful and all, but we've been friends for so long, and I'd really like to keep him as a friend. Without all that possessive, needy kind of stuff that seems to come with relationships, and I think it's possible for us to be like we were before. Almost. Although I know I will never forget what we've shared and all, and I... In fact, I don't want to forget and would actually like to keep that door slightly open if it's all right with you. But for the most part, I think it would be best for all parties concerned if we just put everything else on hold and went back to being just the parents of two girls who are friends. chance you won't be awake yet to see me coming. Well, why don't you want her to see me? Well, why don't you want her to see it? Because I'm still wearing the same clothes from last night. Early. I haven't been to bed yet. Oh. Have you? I was with Vinny. I figured. I'm sorry I didn't call. Um, we just kind of got carried away, I guess. Well, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> I got a taste of what it's like to be the mother of a teenager, and I didn't like it a whole lot. Blossom, I love you as a person, not as a, I don't know, possession. 
my daughter, my child. You're not mine anymore, and that's good. Yeah, I guess. Good kiddo. <laughs> I've been living alone for too long. This stuff is really hard for me. It's okay, Mom. I think we both know that this is not going to work out. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. We'd end up hating each other. That would kill me. I've got to go home, Mom. I know. I hate it, but I know. And it's not because I don't like being with you. Shh. I'm crazy about you, you know? Yeah, I know. Go. Oh, let's not have one of those conversations where we tell each other how we're really feeling okay. I'm just not good at it. Me neither. So, you're going to tell your dad you're coming home, or you want to surprise him? Um, I think I better tell him. My luck, I'd walk in while he had a guest. Good thinking. You gonna go right away? Well, we, we thought tomorrow. Two people thinking. <laughs> that can be tough. Yeah. Well, right now it's fabulous. Well, we have one more shopping day in Paris. Gives us time to buy you something fabulous for your trip home. <laughs> Isn't this fabulous? What is that thing? <laughs> the Eiffel Tower on a stick. Great, isn't it? It's great. So you keep writing? As long as you do. Well, it was nice to meet you, Maddie. Any chance of seeing you in L.A.? You never know. Well, I feel a tearful goodbye coming on, so I'm gonna split before it actually gets here. Bye, Vinny. Bye. Boy, <laughs> this isn't the easiest thing in the world, is it? You come with us. Goodbye. And don't you forget to call when you get home, you hear? I hear. Joe. Bye, Bye. Wait a minute. So you're not going back on a regular airlines? No, but it'll be cool. They're government planes. And when are you actually going to Bolivia? Well, we don't know yet, right, Joe? That's right. See, they still need some time to engrave our medals. Organize the parade. Carve those little yeah. of us. Oh, right. And I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> hey, you think they're going to fly us first class? Of course they'll fly us first class. We're heroes. <laughs> Tony, man, this beats an in-flight movie any day. <laughs> What is it? The women of Bolivia. You want to see? Maybe later. <laughs>
want to come inside? No, no. I got a zillion things to take care of. Not that I wouldn't rather take care of you. So, when will I see you? Is dawn too late? Dawn would be perfect. Good. You know, I'm really glad that you... Um, I'm just really glad, that's all. <laughs> Me too. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey. I'm always at Paris. What are you doing here? Your father told me what time you'd be back. I had to come over. I brought your clothes. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. So what's going on? Nothing much, really. Susan Garfalo split up with Fat Tony because he decided he needed his freedom or something like that. Mr. Jones, the biology teacher, was arrested downtown in a men's room incident. The Cleveland Browns have a new head coach. They caught that serial killer in Washington who said he was doing it in some bizarre tribute to William Devane or something. Let's see. Sharon's got an infomercial where she's selling strands of her mother's actual hair or something like that. I've been keeping most of it myself. That whole national that thing is still going on, and that's about it. How was your trip? Uh, <laughs> um, it was pretty eventful. I've got a lot to tell you. But, um, not tonight. You know, once I get started, we are looking at hours. <laughs> so, uh, how does Dawn sound? I'm seeing Vinny at Dawn, but how about lunch? We will eat dead animals and discuss Europe. Sounds perfect. <laughs> I'm really glad you're back. Me too. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Hi. Hi. Oh. Good. How was your flight? It was very uneventful, just the way I like it. How was the session? Great, but felt really bad about not being able to pick you up. Oh, Vinny and I took that shuttle thing to right near his place, and he drove me home, no problem. So, so um... <laughs> so, you feel like telling me about it? Will you take the Reader's Digest version? Sure. Well, okay, um... Two things made me change my mind about staying there. First one is Mom. I don't know how to say this. Um, Mom's like a girlfriend or something, you know? I mean, it doesn't seem to me that she's really interested in being parental. You see, I took her walking out on us as a clue to that. Yeah, I'm well aware of your opinion. But it's not really her I'm getting at. It's me. I mean, I think I still need that parenting sometimes. Well, actually, only once in a great, great while. You know, as long as it doesn't interfere with my life or anything. Uh-huh. And the second thing is Vinny. Yes? I'm in love, Dad. Big time. I guess it had to happen. He's the most wonderful person in the world. Next to you, of course. <laughs> it's nice to see you so happy. I've never been so happy in my life. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I hated having you away. When your brothers left, it was like... It was awful. But I'm glad you're home, and I'm glad you're happy. Thank you. You want to talk about the phone bill now? Maybe later. <laughs> Speak of the devil. So, are Tony and Joey home yet? Maybe this is them. Hello. Yes, I'll accept the charges. 
Hey, Tone. Where are you? No, Dad, Bolivia. Bolivia with a B. Yeah, who would have thought this is where Bolivian Airlines ended up? Yeah, Dad. You may have heard me use this sentence a few times before. This time I, uh, really, really mean it. Dad, we need to borrow some money. Thank <laughs> you.